Hi, my name's Grant. Most people call me Grant the Polite Guy. Um, I once had a, 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 quite a successful lifestyle. Uh, married, two kids, house, picket fence, a dog. I had every man's dream. My dream. Then I had an accident. Um, a stairwell collapsed. I spent nine months in hospital. There's a famous saying, if you don't pay a mortgage for nine months, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have one. Well, this left me a, a, a devastated. I was a broken man. I became homeless. I had nothing. I started selling the Big Issue magazines. Um, it's a, new, a magazine that homeless sell to, to, uh, in the streets to try and make some money. One day a lady came up to me while I was selling the Big Issue and offered me, if she gave me a bag of clothes, could I give them to, the, to a homeless person? I thought this was all heart. This was amazing. So I said yes. The next morning she turned up with a bag of clothes. I opened it up excitedly. I actually thought it would be a bag of men's clothes, but <laughs> ladies' clothes. But let me tell you, that night I gave them to a lady, a homeless lady who'd been homeless for years. She was twirling around. She, it was like Christmas morning. I could not describe a feeling like it. It's probably one, one of my most successful moments ever. Just pure heart. I thought this was such an incredible thing that I started talking to people the next morning saying, please, can you give me whatever clothes you never want to see again? Give them to me on Friday morning, I will give them to the homeless. We've got so many clothes that we've filled two station wagons up to take to a homeless center. Now, this was just amazing. All the people that were able to help and a homeless person was able to do this. About six weeks after that, I thought we've got to do this again and get more help out there. So I started talking to strangers. I started talking to everybody, asking, please donate the clothes you never want to see again, and we will give them to the homeless for free. A very good mate of mine had come out of church and literally said, pulled me aside and said, Grant, if you take these clothes to the park, he'll go buy meat and give the homeless something to eat and some clothes. We done this and got 400 homeless getting food and clothes. Truly, truly inspirational. Truly inspirational. One of the things I started doing uh, is what I call a pine coat. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pine coat. What it consists of is I'll go up to a homeless person and literally say, would you like to have lunch with me? I will buy it. We go somewhere, we buy something to eat, we sit down, and then I don't talk very much. I listen. It's all about wanting to hear what they've got, what happened. I've helped thousands of people this way. Uh, to give you one example, I once bought lunch for a 12-year-old boy that was homeless who had a bad black eye. I, I asked him, what happened? He got a bad report card at school, and he feared going home to talk to his mum and dad. I couldn't believe this. The kid's been homeless for like 10 days. I got my mobile phone out and asked him if it was all right if I could call his parents just to let them know that he's safe. I opened my, my hand, I dialed the number. All I started saying was, hi, Mrs. Johnson, I'm, you know, I've seen your little boy, he's fine and he's safe. The mum started crying continuously. I held my hand out and the son picked up the phone. 20 minutes later, I'm paying $4 for him to catch a train home. That's what Pine Coke's all about. It's getting to meet people and find out why, why they're in trouble. Sometimes a simple fix can help. Sometimes a big fix. Who knows? Until you start. But one thing I do say all the time is even if you don't want to buy someone something to eat, saying good morning is just a polite and courteous thing to do, and it's all heart. I say good morning to as many people as I can. Not because I know them, not because I want to get to know them sometimes, but it's a polite thing to do. You know? I'm all about showing heart, spreading heart, and helping people. And you never know who's in a bad mood, and a simple hi might change that. Thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day.